About five or six years ago, I went to, I got invited to go to a conference in London, a, a weekend away day. And the people who were organizing it, English Heritage and the Ecclesiastical Society of Architects. It sounded interesting, the topics, and it allowed one to be able to go and visit Westminster Abbey and get to places where normally the public can't get, up in the roof timbers and that sort of thing. But having arrived there, there were about 300 people, and I didn't seem to know anybody, except one, an architect that I'd met here in Bristol, um, who was working in Bath, or had been working in Bath at the time. And we were having coffee at the first break. And he said, well, well what are you doing here, Ron? I said, well, I don't really know. I, I received an invitation. He said, well, who invited you? I said, some chap called Salako. And a voice behind him said, I invited you. My name's Salako. <laughs> and he, Austin, said to him, well, why did you invite Ron? And he's never been to any of these before. And before Salako could answer, another mature lady, who I later found out was English Heritage, said, the reason he's invited you is because you're the only cathedral architect still alive. All the, all the others have popped their clogs. <laughs> well, it makes you think. <laughs> and I really am pleased to be here tonight talking to you. <laughs> How did it all start? With a white sheet of paper, I suppose, a blank sheet of paper, nothing on it, which is terrifying. In designing a church, I talked to you about how the spaces are grouped together for you to use them, them to be used. And the word church, really, is you, it's the assembly. Although it gets the connotation, the building gets the connotation of church, it's really you in the church. The building is just a skin to keep you dry or warm in winter or whatever. But the most important thing to me is the quality of the space that's created inside the church itself. How does one create a space that has a quality that reflects the beliefs that you have and the things that happen here at the altar behind me? And the only one I could come up with, a tangible one, trying not to be theatrical, was to make use of the natural daylighting. Someone asked me recently whether I would do anything differently. When I finished this job, I was moving to London to open a London for the firm. The job I had to do in London was a new hospital. And I suddenly realized that I didn't want to do it. There was not going to be anything that could reach the sense of enjoyment and the fulfillment that had actually happened through working here on this project. There wouldn't be the same people, the same interaction, uh, the same kind of client.